Aloha and welcome to the Songs and Stories podcast. My special guest today is blues guitarist Tomi Asobe. Welcome to the show, Tomi. Aloha, everybody. You sent us a few new tracks to listen to from your upcoming Hawaiian music album. But first, let's talk about your music background, especially your passion with the blues. I was born in the country of Japan. It's called Shimizu City, which is in between Tokyo and Nagoya on the Pacific Ocean coast. When I was 12, I started playing guitar with my classmate, and I was just strumming an acoustic guitar, you know, tried to sing some Japanese folk song. I was like a first year of middle school. I came home and uh, uh, some electrifying music was coming out of my brother's bedroom. That was uh, Johnny Winner's uh, Saints and Sinner mm. album. And I said, what is it? You know, Johnny Winner grabbed my heart. Then I kind of decided when I grow up, I want to go to America and be, uh, you know, playing electric guitars right. and stuff. I wanted to come to Hawaii even though I was in Georgia for a long time, Hawaii was my destination. When I get older, I eventually wanted to move to Hawaii, especially on the big island. And I want to have a, my own horse and, uh, you know, live my life on the big island. Seven days after I'm, I arrived to big island, I was already playing music at, uh, it's already closed and changed the name, but the place called Banji's. Before the pandemic, uh, you were the busiest musician on the island. What's the live music scene like now? I know you're back and playing a few of the clubs uh, here. In the- I'm at the, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Bay's Island Grill in Waikoloa and Humpy's uh, in Kona. Yeah, compared to before pandemic, number of my gigs right now are exactly a, a half. I feel still very blessed, you know, and uh, I have a time to do um, this new album that the big, huge help from my friend, Mr. Sonny Lim from Mm -hmm. the Lim. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. And he's my musical mentor, Hawaii musical mentor. Do you have a title for the album yet or how far along is it? Title for the album. I was thinking Tommy sings Hawaiian and more or maybe in Hawaiian language, I would like to say I am so happy to be on a big island, something like that. Something like that. Do you have a release date yeah. yet? or I'm shooting at the end of August. And this album, new album, I'm singing in four different languages. Wow. <laughs> That's a <laughs> so challenge. So this is a big challenge for me. <laughs> yeah, and I also, bet. yeah, showing my faith to Big Island that, uh, you know, I have been here for 10 years. And now I'm very fortunate that I'm accepted uh, as a brother from Hawaiian musician. It's my challenge to show the sincere thank you uh, to Hawaii. That's 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 the main purpose of All this right. album. So it's kind of like a gift back to the island, yeah? Exactly. Yeah. Well, you gave us a, a chance to get a little sneak peek at the album. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we're going to listen to uh, one of your originals that you yeah. that, that appeared on one of your earlier albums uh, called Never Gonna Let You Go. Uh, but right. you, you gave it a little different feel. Do you want to talk about that? The track that you have right now still don't have any drums. I just sent it to uh, my uh, great drummer friend in Oahu named Mr. Wendell Chin. He's going to be putting a drumming track and some keyboard B. But this time, I just want, I play lots of uh, acoustic guitar, a little bit like an island reggae feel. This yeah. is the only song in the new album with a little bit uh, of island reggae feel. And uh, me and Sonny Lim singing three different uh, parts vocal so it's like a little bit of r&b reggae and old school doo-wop uh chorus on it <laughs> yeah. let's uh yeah. let's uh, let's again let's uh, listen to this sneak peek at tomi asobe's uh new hawaiian music album with a twist i guess you could say uh the track is called never gonna let you go and you're hearing it on songs and stories <laughs> gonna let you go I'll never gonna make you cry I'm gonna kiss you and love you and hold you and please you always leave you wanting more you really got me going crazy I'll never let you out of my sight I'm gonna work all day till I'm more than gray I want you to be 
by my side I'll be singing to you, baby, in pouring rain Don't worry about me catching no cold I'm gonna build a safety nest for you and me Baby, won't you come out the door? I'm never, never, ever gonna let you go That's what I know for sure I'm gonna kiss you and love you and hold you and please you Never gonna let you go specific brand of guitar that you like the most? I played this uh, 1971 Gibson Flying V for a long time. If you look at my uh, YouTube video from Atlanta, Georgia, that's the only guitar you see. And I brought it to Big Island. And the first couple of years, I did uh, festivals and shows in Hilo and here had that that I played in this 71 Flying V. Mm-hmm. Do, do you have a favorite acoustic guitar as well? Acoustic guitar. Now I have a very brand new invention called Fender Acoustic Sonic Telecaster. Fender Telecaster is a solid body, one of the best electric guitar ever made in the world, history of uh, electric guitar history. But... Uh, they invented something something called acoustic sonic. It's a hollow body, small acoustic guitar with Telecaster shape, and it's got an acoustic uh, piezo pickup, body sensor pickup, and the Telecaster pickup built in. So I can use it as a very regular Telecast Fender Telecaster, and also like a several different body type of acoustic guitar mm-hmm. simulation. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, the newest one that I like. And also I have another one called Blue Ridge uh, acoustic guitar, which mm. I play a lot. And also I have a Fender's uh, Resonator. Resonator is a metal pan sound resonating mm. plate on the guitar. It's like a dobro, but it's more like, the one that I have by the Fender is a little more hybrid between Dobro and the regular acoustic guitar. Did you use any of those on this new record? I actually, I use all of them. All of them. All right. This little slide part on the Big Island Blues is a Fender Resonator. The solos on the Lady Sunshine and the others are Acoustic Sonic Telecaster and a lot on the 
just a regular Blue Ridge uh, acoustic guitar mm. on, on this album. Yes. Well, let's get back into uh, the new upcoming al- album. Uh, another track you sent over uh, is uh, the is a remake of the 1961 classic tune called Suki Aki. I think the original Japanese yes. title translate yes. translates to "I Look Up as I Walk." But the record executives at that time said they gave it a catchier title called uh, Exactly. I look, you know, Sukiyaki. In this version, I was listening to it, you sing both English and Japanese. Right. I sang um, first and second verse in English and uh, third and fourth verse with the uh, original Q Sakamoto's uh, Japanese title. It's called Will Muite Armin. So let's walk along, facing up to the sky, so the tears won't fall. Right, right. It's, it's yeah. it has beautiful lyrics, you know. Uh, yeah. But uh, yes. I remember when the original came out. It's like I had no idea what the man was singing about. Mm-hmm. But, but then later learned, wow, this is a, a touching song. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Well, let's give a listen to now to Sukiyaki uh, by Tommy Asobe here on Songs and Stories. I hold my head up high Look into the sky So they won't see All the tears that are in my eyes No one will know What I'm going through My first lonely night Without you I know the night will bring The saddest I feel inside No one will know For the smile on my lips won't tell them Memories of you Although we are through My first lonely night without you As I walk along, lonely wind seems to say From the darkness of no ill night will be this way So I will go alone, pretending you're not gone But I can't hide all the moments of love we knew Memories of you As I go through My first lonely night without you
so I will go alone Pretend that you were gone But I can't hide All the moments of love with you Memories of you As I go through My first lonely night without you My first lonely night without you Hey, what's good, everyone? This is Jazz Kaivi Ko'o, and you're listening to the Songs and Stories podcast. Hey, please follow me and subscribe to my new YouTube channel at Jazz Kaivi Ko'o, and also check out my new CD, Lo-Fi Grits, as well as other productions that I've done at jazztheproducer.com. As one Z, peace. You told me once that you re- referred to yourself as a blues dog. What does that mean? Oh, okay, God, blues dog. <laughs> uh, I have a band in Japan. Every time I go tour, blues tour in Japan, I have a, a bass player and a drummer uh, that we tour around Japan and that we call it Tomi Sobe and the blues dogs. And, uh, you know, the word dog can be translated into a lot of different uh, metaphor in English too. Right, right. But, you know, dog is usually, oh, you dog. You know, don't, don't dog me around. Dirty dog. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's what it is, you know. Yeah. I want to be like a dog to go around <laughs> Japan or whatever and yeah. sing in the blues. And uh, that's what it is. I was uh, working on a documentary about three or four years ago and was interviewing you at the Kona Blues Fest. Yes. And yes. Uh, you were giving me a great interview. There was music going on and you were hot and sweaty. And you looked mm-hmm. over at the camera and you go, I am a blues dog. And I go, wow, <laughs> this guy's the real deal. <laughs> And one of the other things you said in the interview back then for the uh, documentary was that you yes. love the Big Island so much you hope to die, die here one day. Why is it so special to you? It's a big compared to any, any other Hawaiian island. And uh, it's got 11 different climates out of the 13 climates existing on this globe. Mm-hmm. Also, the people are basically very friendly and they're basically smiling. Even though under this pandemic, people are happy. And uh, I am just uh, surrounded and blessed by such a wonderful human on this big island so far. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, you know, I want to die here. (laughs) Yeah. And you're calling it home now. I see you on Facebook. It looks like you're just having a blast every day. You're getting in the water. You're eating great food. And you're just like enjoying every day of your life here. Every day. Every day. That brings us to our our next topic here. Uh, Yes. The song Big Island Blues. How can you have the blues on the Big Island? What's the song Big Island Blues about? Big Island Blues is, uh, I liked this old country uh, blues called Deep River Blues by Doc Watson. I was playing lots of electric guitar until I moved to this island. And now I am very fascinated learning lots of acoustic guitar. And I go back to those fingerstyle blues, uh, country blues picking. And Doc Watson's uh, Deep River Blues really, really caught my heart and i wanted to do this song but you know there's no deep river but the big island sometimes rains all the time in hilo and uh, big wave coming when i'm when i'm surfing in the, in the kawaii hail or you know a bay is a huge wave almost kill me a couple of oh, times no. and uh, yeah then i said why don't i just uh, replace the word Deep River to Big Island, does it work? And uh, Sony, what do you think? He said, it works. I said, <laughs> okay, let's wing it. Sony Lim is playing like a little uh, ragtime kind of, you know, uh-huh. guitar solo. I'm doing my acoustic, regular bluesy guitar solo, and I use this uh, Fender resonator to 
do the slide guitar solo on the open G tuning. Ah, okay. And it comes out, you know, I very, very fun song. It's got some great yes. lyrics to it, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm going to have to let you go. I'm going to have to wrap up the show, and but we'll play Big Island Blues next there. But first, I want to say, Tommy, thank you so much for being on the podcast. Oh, thank you, Stephen. Since you moved here, you had a big help. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to this Hawaiian album and seeing you back in the clubs real soon there. Thanks again. Okay. Mahalo. Thank you. Aloha. Here's Big Island Blues on the Songs and Stories podcast. Thanks for listening to Songs and Stories. You can find episodes on Apple Podcast and listen or download for free. New episodes are available every Thursday. Songs and Stories is produced by Big Island Music Magazine. 
Find us on the web at BigIslandMusic.net. Be sure to follow us on Facebook. I'll see you next week on Songs and Stories. Aloha. Songs and Stories with Steve Roby. All about artists on Hawaii. Learn about the music and backstory on Songs and Stories.